Hey, it's Denise from LumaHead.com and this time I'm going to show you how to knit the single eyelet stitch. It is not 100% reversible, but I think it looks pretty good on both sides. It does have a bit of a curl, even if like me, you add some knit stitches to the edge. Not to worry, I will put a link in the description for a video to show you how to steam block these curls out of your fabric. Now keep in mind that this is a stitch pattern, so no cast on or cast off and for a list of supplies more information be sure to visit the website at lumahead.com forward slash single eyelet we'll start with the setup which we will call row zero it's a pearl six knit one e-wrap one I started my fabric with two knit stitches. It's not part of the pattern, but for those of you that were curious as to what I did, my fabric, my swatch, this is what I did. Two U-wrap knit stitches. Again, not part of the pattern. What we're going to start with now are those six purl stitches. So one purl here, scoop up, create a new purl. I'm sorry, a new loop. Take the old loop off, put the new one on, and pull. Let me break down that purl stitch for you beginners. You put the yarn underneath the existing loop with your hook from the top, scoop up, and create a new loop. You're going to take the old loop that's on the peg off, put the new one on, and pull. That's your purl stitch, and remember that you need six of those. Now keep in mind, again, that this is a stitch pattern, so my edges are not necessarily going to be your edges, right? You have to decide what do you want on the edges of your pattern. All right, once you finish those six pearls, now we're ready for those knit stitches, the first of which will be a U-wrap, so half wrap the peg, and from the bottom, knit off, and that's your U-wrap. And for the E-wrap, you're going to wrap from the front, from the back to the front, wrap the peg and knit off. That is an E-wrap, okay? That is the eight stitch repeat. I'm gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do those six purl stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six purls. And then your U-wrap, version which you can also do the flat version of the knit stitch and then completely wrap the next peg for an e-wrap you're going to repeat these eight stitches and with your edge as many times as necessary for the width of your project now you're ready for row one where you're going to do a yarn over knit two together purl six sounds a lot more difficult than it actually is on this side, I'm also gonna show you my edge, which again is not part of the pattern. And I start with two knit stitches and my pearls, and then the pattern. So two U-wrap knit stitches and my pearl stitches. Now here I have four, I would have preferred six, but I didn't have enough pegs. I did have enough to do five, but another story again not part of the stitch pattern so let's do that eight stitch pattern repeat now and we're going to start off with the yarn over which is right here on this peg um, where you're going to need to take off the loop with your hook take it off unravel that e-wrap and move it over to the left. Now you have two loops on that peg and that's gonna allow you to do the knit two together. So with the working yarn, you're going to yarn over that first peg and now take the two loops from the bottom over the top and knit off and that is your knit two together, which by the way, you can knit them off separately if it's too difficult. And then you just move on to those six purl stitches for the eight stitch repeat. Let's do that one more time. You're going to do a yarn over, knit two together, and then the six purl stitches. Let's start on those two knit stitches. So get your hook, Remove the loop off the first peg, unravel that E-wrap knit stitch, move it over to the peg on the left, 
and now you have two loops on that peg so with the working yarn you're going to lay the yarn over the peg for the yarn over and over to the second peg and knit off those two loops for your knit two together and then you're ready for those six purl stitches you guys already know how to do then just repeat your pattern as many times as is necessary for the width of your project after your edge you're going to do then row two which is just six purls and two knit stitches super easy you know how to do the purl stitch so after you do those six stitches you're going to do two u wrap or flat versions of the knit stitch here i'm just going to do two u wrap knit stitches row three is just as easy as row two you're just going to knit two purl six so do your two knit stitches here's how you do the flat stitch and then go ahead and finish those six purl stitches and that's row three for row four we're going to purl six e-wrap one and knit one all right so you know that i'm starting after the edge then you do your six purl stitches which you guys are expert at and then the knit stitches this time we're going to start with the e-wrap where you wrap the entire peg and then knit off and your next one will be a u or flat now you're ready for row five well you will do a knit two together yarn over purl six all right so remember that this is my edge and that part of the stitch pattern we're going to work on these two so here is my yarn over right and this one is my knit two together so I take the loop off that second peg, unravel the E-wrap and move it to the right so that now I have two loops on that first peg and I take my yarn and I put it over those two loops and then knit off. And remember you can do them separately and now I take my yarn and I bring it over past this second peg over to the third one where I will start those six purl stitches right and try to pull on it a little to tighten uh, that yarn over and now I just want to show you a second time all right so we're going to go to the second peg take the loop off unravel the e-wrap bring it over to the right now you have two loops and bring your yarn over knit off those two loops over that one and then bring your yarn over to the third one. You skip that second because that's your yarn over and tighten the loop again so it's not loose and doesn't look funky and then do your six purl stitches. Row six is super easy. You're just going to purl six and knit two. You guys already know how to do the purl stitch. So finish those and then you're going to do use um, two U-wraps in order to do those two knit stitches or remember you can substitute the flat or the U. Row seven is the opposite. This time you're going to knit two and purl six. So two knit stitches and then your six purl stitches. You got this. Row eight is identical to the setup row. You're gonna purl six knit one and e-wrap one but before i show you a special thank you to lorena reese for her continued support of this channel all right so you do your edge and then those six purl stitches three four five and six and then you're going to do the u-wrap knit stitch for your first knit and that's going to be followed by the e-wrap where you're going to completely wrap the peg and then take the bottom loop over the top and knit off. And that's it. All you're gonna do from this point is repeat rows one through eight as many times as necessary for the length of your project. Dear Luma, don't forget to block your fabric so your stitches will look fabulous. All right, remember to comment, like, and share the video. Thank you.